Hey guys, welcome back to another video here in the Alpha Pack Shop. This is video two of the Renegade 1000 XMR build. Here we go. Alright guys, so if you've been keeping up, in the last video, part one of the 1000 XMR rebuild, we stripped it all down and got the engine and training out. And now we're going to start looking into the transmission. And if you haven't already watched part one, you can go and watch it. So you know what's going on. We stripped it down. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're here and we're about to rip this apart. So this is the 1000 XMR transmission and it is different than the 800 or 850s. Uh, and the difference is one is beefier. The insides are a little different. And this here mount, that's how you can really tell if it's the small one or the bigger one. So the bigger one goes up. This mount is like this. And then if it was an 800, this mount would come from here out this way. And it has a smaller output shaft here. And I had to learn that the hard way when I was doing an XMR rear diff swap onto my 1000 XT to make it an XMR. Because the yoke for uh, the drive shaft I used off the 800 XMR wouldn't slide onto the one bigger shafted uh, output shaft for the 1000 so i had to get a different yoke but anyway enough of that so we're going to tear this apart and we're going to look inside and see what it looks like and let's see if the previous person who took it apart which i know they did because there's all kind of different new gasket stuff on here uh we'll see if they put it together correctly or if there's something blown up in there and broken so here we go i'm gonna open it up and i'll come back when it's all opened up all right guys i don't know if we just lucked out or not uh it's looking like it though check this i took that cover off and look right here this thing right here was kind of laid down in here like that just off to the side i picked it up i'm like oh that that sucker broke yep it snapped so no wonder it wasn't it would go in reverse but it sounded horrible like something was like hitting some teeth which was probably this because it was rough. i don't see any teeth that are worn though or anything somebody was in here but anyway we may have just lucked out i'm gonna see what this part is and check everything out and we might just get one of these and be good all right guys so i got it sitting on the table and all i did was take the cover off Saw a minute ago that this piece was broken. I guess they may have done that when they reassembled it. I don't know. But now that I'm kind of playing with this thing and I've got it in high, it would never go in high. I don't know if you hear that, but it's making a bunch of clanking. And it shouldn't make that noise when it's doing that. And then if you see this gear here, I can lift up and spin it and the clanking goes away. But if I put both fingers in here, I can weeble wobble this gear all over the place. Something ain't right in there. So, there it goes. I can move it quite a bit. And it's not riding on the gears where it's supposed to. But if I throw it in low though, that's low. Boom, it kind of goes away. Still makes a little grinding, but it's in high though is where it's messed up so what somewhere up in here in this high gear i believe that's what this is is where we got an issue so we're gonna have to pull this out blah, throw it over here and then we'll pull this rod pull this and pull this gear out and then we'll be able to remove this whole assembly so when i get this sitting on the table we'll check it out and see what it looks like all right, all right i got the gears out and here's the amount of slack in here if you can see that quite a bit of slack there are needle bearings in here apparently so this one may be bad i'm not sure we might have to like i said get a whole one of these or if i can rebuild it i'll get all new bearings and stuff and we'll rebuild the gears and then when i was looking over in here in the case where the gears were at right there is a spot where something was obviously rubbing not sure why it was rubbing right there but it was uh, and then there's also a piece of metal aluminum I mean up in here behind that bearing so once I take that other side off I should be able to get that out so we'll see when I get the other side off what all that looks like 
Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys, I don't know if you see it yet, but we have a little problem. Remember that piece of metal I was talking about? Well, there she be, right there. That bearing wore this sucker all the way out and busted it. Busted the back part out that holds the bearing in on the inner case. So, huh, everything in the whole gearbox here is good other than this. That really sucks for me. So, yeah, guys, and this little arm over here that was broke. So I don't know what happened to this thing. Uh, the, the gears are all good. I guess either someone replaced all this and it got pushed. They pushed that too far out, and then the gears, for some reason, tried to push that way, which caused that C-clip to kind of move uh, off of that where it's supposed to be seated. I, I don't know what they did or what happened, but... You know that's our issue now we got to remedy it so i've looked into welding i've been told it probably will never be correct or right and it ain't going to really work great so if that's not going to work then you can't just replace the inner half i don't think you have to do the whole thing and i guess you can get a whole used one on line for like a g or you can uh get a used one on marketplace or something between a thousand and and let's say you know two somewhere in there a good use six by six or xmr rear di or tranny gearbox whatever you want to call this thing uh or i can just go over here and steal that one out of that maverick xmr right there that i have <laughs> and pray and cross my fingers and hope that the tranny is not destroyed on the inside it it, it it's got some grindage now it's probably toast but hopefully the case is good and i can use all the innards out of the other one and put them into this case and we'll have a good tranny gearbox whatever uh to put in the rainy and if we do that would be amazing oh yeah so before i make a decision i gotta take that out open it up see what she looked like and see if that's even an option so, and if it is, we'll use it. If it's not, we're gonna have to go a used route, I'm assuming, and get one off Marketplace so we can get this Renegade up and going because I can't just have it just sitting here like this. I got all kind of stuff sitting out, ready to go. I got trannies to put in my truck. I got all kind of stuff happening. But this needs to get out of my way for me to do all that. So, we're gonna try and get this figured out. But in the meantime, if y'all would, hit that like and subscribe bell for notifications. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy. Peace.